Hey guys, my name is Serena. Thank you so much for tuning in to Serena's ABCs, Serena's awesome ballet class. I'll be your instructor for the next few weeks. Thanks for tuning in to Inspiration Fine Arts. I got into the dance world by, you know, just signing up for some dance classes, and I realized soon enough, hey, this is a win-win situation. I get to exercise and socialize at the same time. I think this um, channel is a really awesome takeaway for you guys. You guys not only get to, you know, learn how to enjoy the arts, you guys also get to exercise and have fun at the same time. So for today's class, it's more like a review day, so I'll be going through all the positions in more detail, and I'll also be going through um, some technicalities, and that includes pointing your toes and some ballet arms. So let's get into it. So like always, I like to have a glass of water and a hair tie to tie up long hair if you have long hair, and I also have some shoes, that way we can move around freely. And for today's class, we're not going to be doing that much movement, so it's okay if you don't have a hair tie, shoes, or anything. We'll just be focusing on the little, little details. So for our warm-up today, we're probably just going to roll our ankles a little bit. We don't need those 10 jumping jacks. So I just want you guys to, you know, roll out your ankles, roll out your head, and just roll out your shoulders. All those joints you want to free up, you free them up now. So make sure your knees are ready, we can bend and all of that without hurting ourselves. So first thing we're going to do is go through all of the positions again. We're going to review a little bit. First things first, first position, that's when your heels are touching each other and their toes are facing outwards. Again, keeping that idea that there's a rod going from your, from your head all the way down to your heels and all the way down to the center of earth. You want to make sure that you're rooted in place and make sure that your core, you're using your core to make sure that you don't wobble around. And now for second position, it's just a wider first. Um, again, your toes are facing outwards, making sure that your weight is evenly spaced. You're not shifting from side to side and you're not rolling in on your knees, making sure that your feet are firmly placed on the ground. And third position, remember we don't use this so it's not as common. Um, this won't be seen in our combination, but again, it's the heel of this foot is placed in the center of this supported leg. And fourth position, we're gonna bring it back in, run jump to the front, place. Um, so this one is just where one foot is in front of the other. When I go to the side, it's kind of like, oh, I wanna put one, like one foot of a space in between making sure your weight is evenly balanced, so no, not weight, the weight isn't over one leg, over the other leg, but even, evenly spaced in between. And now fifth position is where your toe is touching the heel of your other foot, making sure you're turned out, don't make it kind of narrow, but make sure that you are opening your thighs all the way. Try to squeeze your thighs together and straighten your legs. I mean, yeah, straighten your knees. So there you go, we went through all the positions and let's get ready for our combination. So some things I want to go over before we get into our combination. You might have seen when I'm demonstrating the positions from first to second that do something like this before I place it. This is called pointing your toes. So basically what this is, is you want to keep as much of your foot on the ground as possible before you reach that position. So like this. See, I'm lifting a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, all the way until I only have a little bit of my big toe on the ground. So when you're out here like this, you want to make sure there's no weight on this outside foot, that you're not putting any weight, but it's all on this supporting leg. And again, you might catch yourself doing this. All of your weight is here. I'm sitting into my hip though. You want to bring it up, make sure you're as tall as you can get, that rod is elongating from the bottom of your heel all the way up. So let's try that again. Out, out, pointing your toes. Good, and then we can place it. And also they do something called preparation arms before a combination. You might have heard this um, a few times. So basically what this is, is before a combination, we always have a way to put our hand on the bar. So we're gonna start off in low first, which is down here. Um, making sure your arms are rounded, but long. You don't want it to be up here. You don't want it to be completely straight. Make sure that it's not touching yourself too far up, just down here. Pretend like you have a tutu and that you can't touch it. You have to keep it, make sure it's not touching yourself. So, preparation arms. 
it's out, in, up, out. And then you can place it on your bar. So out, it's kind of like um, you're moving every single joint on its own. You know that feeling in water where you're playing and you're swishing around? It's like, oh, I have to drag my arms around. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like you gotta like move gracefully. So it's your elbow out first, then your wrist, and then your fingers. So both arms slowly and come back in. And then we bring it up and out. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and open. Perfect. Hey guys, congratulations. We just finished our third class together. Thank you so much for tuning in to Serena's ABCs, Serena's awesome ballet class. If you like this video, you can always head on over to Inspiration for Arts YouTube channel. We are a nonprofit that aims to bring arts to the youth. Um, if you like to make a donation, there's a link below. Um, make sure to hit subscribe and like to stay notified or just to help us in general. Well, I hope you guys join me next week. Um, I really had fun. I hope you guys also did. Don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. I'd love to read all of you guys' um, thoughts while doing this, if you enjoyed it, what I should do next. Um, until next time, bye!